Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to focus on part two of understanding exposure. In practice we're going to try to play it a little bit with ISO and shutter speed. I'm going to use my smartphone today because uh, I didn't bring my big camera but if you are using a DSLR or a compact camera or even your smartphone as I am today it's the same thing, it's exposure, okay? Another day I will use my DSLR to explain how aperture and the lens work. I can't do it on the smartphone because the smartphone doesn't have aperture control. It doesn't, it doesn't have the room to work on that. So, but today we're gonna focus on this. As you can see here, I am in the waterfall of Viola, not far from where I grew up. So, let's do this. So I already framed everything on tripod because if you go really slow with the shutter speed, you're gonna need to hold down your camera. So I am using here the, some kind of tripod, the Joby tripod to hold down my smartphone. Let's take some pictures, shall we? So, we're gonna start with a really fast shutter speed. So what I'm gonna do, Let's accelerate like something like 2,000 of a second. This is a really, really fast shutter speed. But as you can see in the histogram, everything on the left of the histogram, that means that everything is almost black. So here I am forced to crank up a little bit the ISO. So I have some details on the shadows here. So the sky it's blown out, but my main objective is just to take this picture. So I'm gonna use the voice command to take the picture. Smile, and there we go. And let's check out the picture. 2000 shutter speed, a really fast shutter speed. You can see that the, every single drop, it's sharp. Everything, it's really sharp. Everywhere, it's really stopped in time, but now let's try to make the smooth of the waterfall. I'm gonna go to the shutter speed again and I'm gonna crank it down. So a 50th of a second. As you can see, everything is in the right of the Instagram. That means that everything is almost white. So I have to crank down the ISO. So it's a little bit better. It's way too white still. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the shutter speed and speed it up a little bit. So I think this will be enough. Let's take a picture. Let's check it out. And as you can see, now it's not that sharp still is a fast shutter speed so what am i gonna do actually it's i'm gonna add a filter i don't have filters with me so i'm gonna use my sunglasses so what my sunglasses will do as a filter is cut down a little bit the light that we have around us that i can't really control it because it's sunny it's the clouds so I'm gonna add a filter so less light will hit the sensor. So this is really terrible for the color, but um, yeah. And we can go at 20th of a second. Let's take a picture. Let's check out what we have here. As you can see, everything that doesn't move, it's sharp and everything that moves, it's smoothed out. There we go. It's really, really that simple. As you did notice, my objective was control the sh Oh! Here! Can you see that? Can you see that? So my main objective was control the shutter speed. Of course, the ISO was there just to help me achieve a good exposure. And that's mainly what the ISO should do. You shouldn't crank up the ISO just because you can. You have to justify it because the ISO will add noise to your image. So there is a really awesome view from here. 
Whoa! Well, everyone, if you learned something, please drop a like on this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down below in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel. Until next time, see ya.